Greetings and salutations. I'm here to help you fix an Amazon Fire tablet with a black screen. It does not power on. You might actually see a light as far as a power that's charging light, or you might not see a light. I'm here to help you troubleshoot. Nine times out of ten when this happens, it's just not charged fully. Okay, so what you need to do is find a different power source. Try a different power cord. The fire, the fire uses a um, USB-C. It's the thicker ones. Go on Amazon and buy you a new one. Go buy Walmart and get you a new one. You might have another one laying around the house. And plug it up for about an hour on it with a new cord, and then you tell me if it works. All right? If you've uh, tried that, try hooking it up to a wall. Let's say you're hooking it up to a laptop or a desktop. Plug it up in, with another wall outlet, okay? Sometimes that will fix the problem. Let's say if you've been hooking up to a laptop, try hooking it up to a wall. And vice versa, if you've been hooking up to a wall, hook it up to a laptop or a desktop. All right, so try that. Next thing what I want you to do is hold down the power button, and we're talking like 40 seconds to a minute, and do not let go. Just keep holding it down. Doesn't matter if it's plugged in or not. And then and then see if it works. Have you had it on for a while? Have you had it plugged in? Plug it in for 30 minutes to an hour. Go into another room. See if that will work. Now, if you do hear it, if you put your ear up against to it and you hear it, shine like a flashlight. Or on your smartphone, you might have a light. And see if you see anything on the screen, like writing. Or, a, or the the apps. If you do, unfortunately, that's a big deal. That means it's the screen has gone bad, and the screen needs to be replaced. It's not a software issue; it's an issue with the hardware, and um, you might need to re replace the tablet altogether. To replace the screen on it, you might as well just buy a new tablet because unless you could do it yourself, which is very tedious to do. I'll put a link in the comment section where you can get another one. Uh, very cheap off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the comment section. Um, but tell me if that works. We've tried 40 seconds. Now, next thing I want you to do is hold the power button down and then the volume up button. And don't let go and see if you can see a logo come on. If you do, that's good news, right? Now just keep holding on to the volume up button until you see this screen. This is called Google or this is called Android Recovery. And then from here, what you want to do is you want to use the volume up and down to go to wipe cache partition and hit power to enter. And then it'll reboot back to here. And then what you need to do is go back to reboot to bootloader loader here after you wipe the partition and then that'll take you to the home screen if it does then you're golden all right if that does not work last resort is to go back to this screen and go to wipe data and factory reset that's going to make it like it's fresh out of the box it'll wipe out all your pictures and videos but hey it's worth it if you get your tablet back you just have to reinstall everything back on there all right, I'm almost confident one of these methods could help help you. I hope it does. For whatever case, for whatever reason, if it does not help you, um, you can do the nuclear option. This is when you're ready to chuck it in the trash. And with it powered off, I'm just doing this for demonstrations. You take it to a freezer, a refrigerator freezer. You leave it in there for about 15 hours or overnight, whatever. Doesn't have to be exact. You take it out, you let it sit at room temperature for about an hour. Warm up to room temperature, then power it back on and see if the screen will work. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.